We are full of concepts and we think we're living, but we're really conceptualizing. Sea change when you go from being in your mind to being in your heart. In the course of love, it was about discovering our true identity. Okay, welcome everyone uh, to our show today. This is Heart to Heart, How Our Course of Love is Changing My Life. And I'm Lynn Kidd. I'll be your host today. And what we're going to do is give you a little bit of taste and introduction to A Course of Love and how it's changing our life, what transformations, experiences we're going through, and how we're personally integrating this into our daily life. So um, I would love to welcome our guest today from the Bahamas, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Knowles. Welcome, Hi, Matt. Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I'm glad <laughs> to be here from the Bahamas. <laughs> from the Bahamas, yes. Well, nice having you, Matt. Thank you for joining us. And I um, thought we would just get started um, a little bit with some of your personal journey before you got to a course of love, just a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, to share with us. Absolutely. Thank you. There has always been, I think, since my childhood, an idea of wanting to be a peacemaker. I just think that that is kind of what, what drives me uh, from uh, being a little kid. I, I always liked to be the one that uh, brought peace to conflict if it was people quarreling or, you know, whatever. I just didn't particularly like conflict. Uh, when, when life goes on and you become an adult, you know, things happen. <laughs> I've, I went through, uh, you know, some things that made me question, uh, you know, the validity of life. I mean, things like divorce and betrayal, uh, things like, um, you know, family arguments over estate issues after, uh, you know, your parents' death. Uh, really things that make you question, what? <laughs> what? Why? Why so much conflict, you know? I started my path with the idea of wanting to understand meditation. And so I did enroll in meditation classes in school, just to still my mind, just to be able to, if an involuntary thought came to my mind that was causing stress, I could cancel it out. In other words, it didn't have control over me. I, I you know, wanted to master my own self. Mm -hmm. And so that sort of self-talk and the idea of uh, being in control of self-talk was key. It was during that period of understanding meditation that I started to, to uh, get uh, look for mentors online and the course of miracles first came to me as a source of inspiration and I spent five years reading the course of miracles and and listening to the ex and waiting for the exercises to take fruit in my life not just a theoretical understanding uh, of what was being said in in the book but a practical experience that I could say oh I know that's now true on some integration with that, with A Course of Miracles before you got to A Course of Love? Well, I think, yeah, uh, and that, and yes, it was, definitely. And I think The Course, course of Miracles, for me, where I was in my mind and in my personality, was probably important uh, because, it, because I'd already gotten, gotten into an understanding of quantum physics and, and the idea that thought, you know, is powerful, that thought actually manifests physical things in our, in our, that consciousness, human consciousness is a power, is, is an actual uh, thing that creates our lives and the conditions in which we live. The course of love starts to say, well, guess what? That's all brilliant. And that was a necessary understanding on the path. But if you really want to walk this world like I walked 2,000 years ago, you've got to recognize that it's coming from within you, that the whole the heaven and the kingdom is actually in you. And those things aren't happening to you. You're happening. Yeah. You are the one that's happening. You could maybe share with us um, when, uh, about what was going on in your life at the time you discovered A Course of Love and then how, how actually maybe – how actually did you discover the course of love? And then was there anything specific going on around that time? I had met a blind man. Uh, I met a blind preacher who at first was uh, teaching a course in miracles to a congregation in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and he, he struck me as an individual because of perhaps because of his blindness. I, I don't know, mm -hmm. but he was so focused on understanding uh, and living truth. And, and when he spoke and when he, when he taught people, you, you recognized his authenticity. 
and he had discovered uh, a course of love and he was the one that suggested to to everyone that 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 would be the next obvious step if you were already in understanding of a course of miracles mm -hmm. that a course of love was a complete understanding of the heart which is which is where your true self is that's and interesting though you said you discovered it from a blind man yes that's interesting <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. it's like a, yeah. a man that doesn't have any like physical eyesight or external eyesight but then is coming alive where the heart uh, as you were told a course of love the, the let let out we're looking within now and our eyes become are the eyes of the heart so that's, that's so true, beautiful yeah. that's like yeah. that's just like a perfect like symbolism that you discovered it a course is. of yeah. love through a blind man <laughs> yes. yeah. i was blind but now i see <laughs> that's you know true. it's yeah. like yeah. like yeah. you know the, the the true christ vision is within it has nothing to do with the external eyes yeah that's yeah. that's yeah. that's wild <laughs> yeah anyway it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now that you say it like that it is you're right that's yeah cool. that's that's beautiful <laughs> i love that yeah. that yeah so anyway um yeah, so Matt, maybe um, if you have a powerful line or a passage that's speaking to you right now, I would love Absolutely. for you to be able to share that with us and the Absolutely. viewers out there. Yeah. Well, this is a, a, a two-sentence line uh, that I like. Uh, it says, it goes like this. Being serious about life is a major strategy of the separated self, which recognizes its own seriousness as necessary to maintain its separation. Joy is truly the greatest threat to the separated self, which is the opposite of seriousness, right? For it comes from union and reinforces union's appeal at the expense of the appeal of separation. So what I love about that is it, it reminds us, it's like a trigger, like when we're serious and we think we've got to control and that we think, we think, we think, it's a, it's a really good, uh, it, or it's very easy, I think, mm -hmm. at least for me now, to recognize when I'm being serious or being too mm -hmm. serious. And to recognize that all you need to do is, is, is will that a little bit of joy, you know, be shown to your mind and so that your mind can recognize joy by letting go. Uh, and the difference between the separation and the unit, unity or the union that the, those lines talk about is just basically goes down to the you know the Adam and Eve story in the in the Garden of Eden where after eating the apple they became separated from the unity of, of heaven mm -hmm. and from God metaphorically and and so the separated self then is just that self that is serious and sees itself as an island mm -hmm. uh, you know and everyone else is outside of them and and life and reality is just outside of you and again happening to you whereas the unionized mind the union mind is that state uh of of union with creation is recognizing that everything is within you and mm -hmm. you know as one thinketh one yeah. is and and what that means is as one thinketh life is for you thanks for sharing that not having to take everything so seriously i can certainly use those words of comfort for today <laughs> <laughs> yeah we all can oh, especially well, when, we relate, when we relate to one another yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah we're kind of coming up on time it's flying by already but i was thought maybe you could um share how um your life is personally like shifted for you like how you're integrating it into your daily life right now and how it's sure. personally shifting for you since you've uh, started doing uh, receiving absolutely. I'll say receiving the course of love <laughs> thank you I'm launching and have launched a training program where you go into corporations and hotels and you talk about human value and human worth uh, and human identity uh, which, which results in you know behaviors in in, in the hospitality field uh, behaviors that that uh, you know talk about attitude you know and mm -hmm. and the words we choose and the tone of voice we use and the and the body language and and the actions we mm -hmm. take and, yeah. the, and the systems that we talk about and and, and how we rec can recognize and help one another in a service industry to just be uh that 
that neighbor, you know, mm-hmm. that, that loves one another yeah. as ourselves. And, um, yeah. and so very, very practical application, uh, you know, mm-hmm. certainly in the hospitality field. Yeah, the hospitality hotel industry, which is really big in the Bahamas. And yes. it's yes. really like I, what I'm hearing is sort of an embrace of that whole wholeheartedness and the dialogue and the relationship and actually bringing that all into your lived experience through yes. through the service engine to really to really bring that out that wholeheartedness that and that, to me that's speaking like the connection with people to really mm-hmm. foster that relationship and connection with everyone yeah and um yeah, yeah which is so huge and um uh, course of love so anyway we're coming up on our time would you have any last minute thoughts or words uh somebody brand new starting with a course of love if you read the course of love which is a very lovely book and it really helps you to understand uh, Mm -hmm. human and how to go about loving yourself and other humans and how to share that and be a beacon of hope with others so that they can you can model the model things Mm -hmm. and they can pick up on things just by watching you or you know they don't even have to read the course but you just be yeah. you be you be the one yeah and, and so when you be die the, be the yeah. change yeah yeah be the change yeah. <laughs> gandhi <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so, yeah. so when we give up these bodies when you know when we when we are about to turn back to dust you know we, we have a smile yeah. on our face yeah just, just smile just know that you know yeah that was cool we blessed everyone. We blessed ourselves, and then yeah, and, and yeah. we bless everyone. So that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're about out of time, Matt. So I'm so glad that you were able to make it today, and it's just an honor to have you. Thank you. And man. I just want to say thank you, and go out and keep blessing this world in the Bahamas and all through your hotel industry. Thank you. I'm honored <laughs> you everyone. asked. Thank you. Thank you for asking, Lynn. I appreciate it.